it's your girl Lalu and welcome back to a brand new episode of R&B Weekly-ish, ish, monthly-ish, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. This is R&B Weekly Gems, Times, Lalu, Blue. I know it's really exciting stuff to hear about the documentary, but now let's get into that music, baby. Let's get into that music. Bloom the EP is a special, special, special project for me because obviously it's my first project that I've released in about three and a half years. I think the last song I dropped was just about 2018 and that was Show and Prove or Control. One of them, no, Indulge, one of them. Those are the last three songs that I have released. And yeah, Bloom came about during, just before the first lockdown. And I think I was meditating and I've realized that, yeah, it's time for me to get back into that music. It's time for me to really create something that is truly special for me and something that would really connect with people that have supported me over the years and also something that new people would connect with. Like I really wanted to make music that was who I was now after all the trauma and PTSD and everything that came that I've put in all of me. I really wanted to create something that was healing, that was about affirming your growth. Like Bloom is all about growing, it's all about acceptance, it's about blooming. You shed, you get watered, you sprout from the earth. Sometimes you have to go back into the earth to regurgitate the you know, nutrients that you need. You, plus, you plant roots and then you finally start to grow and then you blossom and you reach out and you inspire others and that's what Boom is about and it's a five track EP and it literally goes through the stages of almost it can, can be compared to the stages of grief you know you go through the shock you go through the acceptance you go through the acknowledgement the understanding and then the letting go and then moving forward and that's what I really wanted to showcase in this project. And I'm saying that's what I want to showcase, it's what we want to showcase. This project was not made just by me. This project couldn't have just been made with me alone. This project is made with so many special individuals. First and foremost, it kicked started with, of course, my brother, my good friend, my homie, Jay Warner, then Mike Music, Kemi Ade, Sin and Lewis, like those people are the core reason why Bloom came about and without them Bloom would not be what it is today. Like I touched base with Mike Music, we started creating some music and he sent me a track and I started writing to it and I was speaking to Jay at the time because I had already been reaching out to people, hey I'm going to do a new camp, would you like to do it? Da -da 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 -da. And so the track got sent to um, Jay Warner and Jay came back, he's like, hey, I wrote this song on this track. I really think it would suit you. And I've added some bits, see what my music is saying. And the collaboration was born. And that gave you the first track, The Man. My interpretation of The Man is basically when a relationship and I, it could be romantic, it could be platonic, it could be work, it, it could be any relationship at any stage that is no longer serving you, that is no longer being helpful, that is not no longer helping you to move forward. You know when you have to cut something from the root in order for it to stop stealing or taking from other parts of you, where you feel like you've given yourself so much to this relationship and you're not receiving anything in return. And we know that relationships aren't supposed to just be about what do I get in return? It's supposed to be give and take, it's a two way thing. So when you're in a situation that no longer serves you, it's no longer part of your purpose, it can start to wear on you. It can start to strip away from you. It can start to just suck away all the nutrients. It can, it's almost like a weed. It's almost like a weed that is just there and taking up all the nourishment and you are just being sucked dry. It's like it's like a vampire just taking all your good energy away. That is what the man represents for you where you're like, you know what, I'm down if we cut ties. I'm down if we break up because you know what, you've done taken enough energy from me. And now I don't have that energy to fight to keep you. So be going. Like sometimes people can feel like, you know, 
as long as this person's there for me, doing what I want for them, what they can for me, that's fine. Without even watering you, without even giving back just a little 1%, sometimes that's how these relationships is all you giving, 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 giving. And sometimes you have to wake up and be like, you know what, I'm down to break up. I ain't got the energy to make up. This is not love. It is a wake up call. It is a wake up. And I am not calling for you. I will not be calling for you no more. I'm not caught up on me living in your shade with nothing but a gaslight. That is a bar. That is a bar. Shout out to Jay Warner for that because I was like, You're li I'm living in your shade. I'm living in the shadows because you want the limelight. You want me to continuously to pour into you whilst you leave me to wither and die away. And then when I bring it up to you, you want to be gaslighting. Do you hear that double entendre? Wake up on me living in your shape with nothing but a gaslight. I can call upon you giving me these great days. You promise blue skies wide. You promise, you know what? You, there can be times where they're like, you know, I promise I'll change, I'll do better. You know, I'm sorry for being a bad friend. I haven't been going through it. Da, 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 da. And it's like, okay, if that's your promising me that you're going to do better. You're, that's you promising that, you know, I'm changed or whatever. And then it's like, actually, you're not li living up to your promises. And it's like, they will have the nerve to then get mad at you for you when you come to confront. There's always something you can't handle. I let my pride fall even when I can't stand you. And you know I got my hands full. So even though they know what's going on in your life, they're still like, oh, whatever, me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. So you literally do not matter. As long as you're serving them, as long as you're serving their purpose for you in their life, in their world. And that is not your portion. That is not your portion. The man, it may sound like it's a relationship breakup song, it is really not that. This is the first stage of blooming where you need to cut off any weeds that are trying to ruin your growth. That is what the man is. And here is a snippet of the man. And you could never be the man cause there's always something you can't handle. I let my pride fall even when I can't stand you. And you know I got my hands full. Now you wanna take a break. Track two, track two, track two. Track two is Mile Away. When we created Mile Away, <laughs> I think the excitement for the project was even more solidified. Like we had spent, I think, seven to eight days together, put together creating. But Mile Away was, I think, a turning point. Let me, this is the thing. It's good to create with people that understand the vocal Bible brand, Brandy. And Jay Warner is my guy. Jay Warner is my home dog. Any session with Jay Warner, you hear us singing Brandy. We'll just break out in Brandy and it's just, we're just laughing because we're just like, this woman's incredible. She's amazing. How did she do this? But yeah, my way is the acceptance of cutting off, of letting go. And my way is almost like the grief part of it, but you know within yourself that is only the next step. It may seem like it's a mile away. It may seem like it's going to take everything for you to get over. But, you know, you're going to move forward. Mile away is really something. When you listen to your lyrics, it all ties in from... Each song in this project ties in. So we've said, I'm down to break up. I feel chosen. Heart's on frozen. So that coldness that I felt towards the world or what to other people due to past hurts, the PTSD, from past relationships, from people that have done me wrong. I'm finally choosing me and I'm un unfreezing my heart so that I can move forward in a healthier way. Again, words unspoken. Like, I have not spoken about my heartache because I felt broken. Oh, it's okay, we said a new day, a means of escape. Hmm. 
I love this song so much, as you can tell. Set <laughs> run and never the time. It's all in my way. Baby, don't lose your light. I'm by the way. The song is literally almost like a poem to myself to say to keep to keep me going to be like yes you know what so much has happened in the past you've been broken you've been backstabbed you've been spoken badly about you have everything but you're counting on yourself now you're telling yourself yeah you know these things happen but i'm gonna keep moving forward i'm not gonna allow my past to dictate my future that's what my way is about the exciting part about my way the bvs the BVs. The BVs. Let me take you to a snippet of the main BVs. Or shall I make you go and listen to it? If you haven't listened to it, what have you been doing? I'm not going to give it to you here. You need to go and listen to it. Here's a snippet of the beginning of my way. <laughs> I'm out of way.